Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I don't know how to start this video. Since a long time ago, I wanted to make a time capsule for myself. I attempted many times, I think, but I failed and I just couldn't not open it. I guess I just didn't have anything interesting or important enough to put in a time capsule and keep it there for a couple years. So today what I'm doing is creating my overdue time capsule. So I found a good sized box. This was small enough but not too small and it's clean inside so we're going to use this. I have been collecting a lot of different things that I wanted to put in this box since like the past two weeks. I kind of changed the camera angle, it looked kind of weird so yeah. Okay, so in today's video, as I am putting stuff in this box, I don't want to explain every single thing that I'm putting in here because A, it's going to be a really long video. B, I want to keep the surprise to a maximum when I open this box, so I'm not going to explain every single thing. This is also going to be a trip down memory lane for me because I haven't seen these things since forever ago. So first I want to put in like big papers so that I can go on the bottom. Um, I found these and they're all like yearbook autographs. I didn't buy a yearbook every single year in middle school and high school so I got like my friends to write on pieces of paper. Sounds ratchet but I'm glad I at least did that because I'm not gonna read them but like it, I have these since like sixth grade I think. Yeah so that is that. Um, I'm gonna put this on the bottom. Okay so the first thing that I see is a four leaf clover you can't see because of the glare um my dad found this at work um he found two actually i think i'd like to think that if i keep this in my time capsule and keep it in my room i will have good luck forever so i have letters from my grandma's um a wedding invitation from my favorite cousin and then i have a letter like a legitimate letter from my old taekwondo master his name is master alex and he wrote me years ago i still had this and i was like why not put it in here this sounds so dumb but in fifth grade like some people got to like go outside and like sift through dirt and find like cool rocks and I had a whole like bag full of them and I got rid of the ones that were like janky and not as cool as these but I kept some of them and they're in here. I can't believe I've had this since fifth grade. I mean, <laughs> fifth grade, how long was that? That was seven years ago. I wanted to put this in here. And then I have a ribbon from when I was doing cheer one season. <laughs> um, I don't know. I had a lot of fun, so I decided to keep this ribbon in here. Hopefully I remember what this ribbon was from. I mean, I can watch this video again, so yeah. Also, I wanted to say that I'm not going to re-watch this video after editing it and uploading it. The next thing is a keychain from a very close friend. He moved away and I haven't seen him since, but he gave me this like little llama keychain. The next item is another keychain, but this is from my other Taekwondo master at another gym. Technically he didn't give it to me and I took it from him, but he knows that I have this. Anyways. Um, I haven't seen him in years either, so I had some interesting times there, so I have this to remember him by. Okay, so the next thing is a couple of medals. Then I have a bow clip. I don't- a rib- bow? Bow. I have a bow, two ribbons, and a sash from when I did my beauty pageant. I'm gonna guess and say I did a beauty pageant in 2012. Actually, 
It's a 2012 on the ribbon. So this is my number from my first acting slash modeling competition that I went to in Chicago. It's by the company Launch and this was my number so I wanted to just put that in there. And then this number is from my Passport to Discovery competition which again is a modeling slash acting competition. I'm saying competition a lot. That's... I'm gross. Um... Yeah, I... Oh my god, I just poked my eyes out. That hurts so freaking bad. That hurt like hell. <laughs> Anyways, continuing on with the video. This is my number in my second acting slash um, modeling competition. <laughs> my eye hurts so bad. And then I also got this card because it was on a cruise and we need a card to like get into our rooms, you know? So I have a card and my number from this weekend or like week then i found my cursive license in second grade second grade that was 10 years ago look how fetus looking i am <laughs> i have a cursive license and then i decided to keep a bunch of like my school id cards in here since i don't need them right now and it'll be memories you know Okay, so the next thing is also very dumb. Not dumb. It seems childish. But like, what else am I going to put in that's not childish, you know? It's from my childhood, so. <laughs> so me and the cousin that I had my wedding invitation from, we made hats. <laughs> Okay, so the only reason why it's like so flashy and just eye-popping is because we tried to recreate Girls Generation I Got a Boy hat look. She went all the way. She ordered us pink hats, pink freaking snapback hats, and she ordered us like our bias or like our stand um, pins. So I stand Jessica. Um, <laughs> we went to Michael's that day, got a bunch of supplies, and we just vomited glitter all over this. Her hat looks so much better. Obviously, because I was like 12, it's not as good as her when she was like, I don't know, like 20, 22. I could have done better. But this is definitely like memories, like I can never throw this away. So I'm gonna keep this in my box. Um, yeah, it fits, so. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so we're almost done. And the thing is I wanted to put my homecoming tickets, my prom tickets, etc like my football game tickets whatever in here as well but i decided to make a scrapbook here <laughs> so i have all my like event tickets in here like movie tickets pictures homecoming amusement park tickets stuff like that all in here by year I wish I could just like put the scrapbook into the box, but it doesn't fit. Plus, I need to update the scrapbook, the scrapbook every year. So I knew that wasn't gonna work. Um, but yeah, I do keep all my all my tickets. So back in July, I knew I wanted to make a time capsule soon. So I wrote a letter to my future self. I honestly do not remember what I wrote on this letter, but I don't want to read it. Um, I want to wait. So I'm just going to put it on top of everything else. And then there's one more thing that I want to do. I have this USB. I know it's an owl. I want to record like a video to my future self. It's like a, a video letter. I don't remember what that's called, 
but there's a word for it but i want to like record to my future self put it onto my computer put it in this usb and put it in my time capsule so that when i open it i can put this plug this usb into my computer and watch it and be like oh my gosh that was when i was in my senior year so i'm gonna film my video letter later this week probably tomorrow and then I will continue this video whenever I'm finished. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later. It is currently Saturday at 1.30 p.m. I am filming another video for next week, so if you guys see the same hair and outfit, that is why. Okay, so I transferred my letter to my future self onto my OWL USB. We're gonna put it in, seal it, and that's literally it. This is kind of scary. I don't know why. We're gonna put this in now. Okay. It's a done deal. Okay, so I have two different washi, not washi, duct tape, and we're gonna crisscross them so that it's sealed. We can't open it. Okay, so I am done sealing the box. We're just gonna put the year that we should open this box, or that I should be opening this box. Okay, so I was thinking about the year, and I thought 2025 would be too soon, because that's like five years. And I thought at least 10 years. So we're gonna go with 2030. That sounds crazy because it's not even 2020 yet. I wrote open only in 2030. I'm really excited. Hold up. I just realized that I'm gonna be like 28 when I open this. I'm gonna be 28. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait for 10 years to pass by. Um, I hope I forget everything that's in this box. If you're still watching this, honestly, thank you so much. I love you. I hope you enjoyed watching me put stuff in my time capsule. Um, yeah. Hopefully you'll be here when I open my time capsule in 10 years. That would be crazy. I will see you guys next week with a video that I'm very looking forward to making. Because I've been meaning to do this for months now. And I'm finally doing it. So I will see you guys all next week with another new video. And until then, have a great day. I love you. Bye, guys.